Hello, good morning. So how do you know if you have the Holy Spirit? How do you know that the Spirit of God lives in you? That's the heart of Paul's letter to the Galatians. Today, we are reading from Galatians chapter 5, from verses 18 to 25, where St. Paul very clearly shows us the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Remember, he says the fruit of the Holy Spirit, not the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I think the answer to the question, how do you know if you have the Holy Spirit, is simple. It is, do you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit in you? The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love. And if you have love in your heart, then you have the Holy Spirit. St. Paul explains this elsewhere in the second letter to the Corinthians, where he says that you can have everything, but you have no love, you are just like a clashing symbol. So, child of God, what exactly does it mean to love? What does it mean to love? Paul says that we all know the fruit of the Holy Spirit, that it is love. And if you have love, there are things that will follow. There are things that will follow are joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So those are what we normally call the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I think that's a wrong translation. The actual translation is that we have one fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is love. And when you have love, all these other things will follow. So St. Paul tries to explain to the Galatians that this is all you really need. Have love in your heart and you have all these other things that will come with it. And that's the proof that you have the Holy Spirit. So child of God, if you are wondering today, do I have the Holy Spirit or not? All you need to check is, do I have love in my heart? And is this love in my heart producing joy? Is it producing peace? Is it making me more patient? Is it making me a kinder person? Is it making me generous? Is it making me able to control myself? Is it making me gentle? So if you have these, then you know that you have the love of God in your heart, and then it means that you have the Holy Spirit. Take note, and this is the second thing I would say, this is not the same thing as having the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit, such as speaking in tongues, such as you know, all the many gifts of the Holy Spirit, are not proofs that you have the Holy Spirit in you. They are just gifts. I mean, if I give you the key to my car, it doesn't mean that I'm with you in the car. You can drive away with my car. They are just gifts. So be careful when people manifest the gifts of the Holy Spirit. They can because the Holy Spirit has given them those gifts. But they are not necessarily signs that the Holy Spirit is with them in their hearts. So what proves that you are in the Holy Spirit, what proves that the Holy Spirit is in you, is when you manifest the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is love. So the last thing I'd like to see this morning is in the Gospel reading, which is taken from St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 11, from verses 42 to 46. In this Gospel reading, Jesus Christ reminds the people that there is a difference between strictly just adhering to the laws without having the spirit of the law. The spirit of the law is knowing the reason for the law and obeying it. For instance, what happened this morning is that the, the Pharisees were behaving like hypocrites. And Jesus very clearly rebuked them, saying, You pay tithes on meat and rue and every garden help, but you pay no attention to judgment and to the love of God. You pay no attention to the love of God. Remember I said that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love. God himself is love. So the proof that you have the Holy Spirit, you have God in your side, is to have love in your heart. So child of God, this is the basic message of this morning. Let us try and produce the fruits of love, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We don't mind God bless and keep you today, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.